So this is uh, day five of boot camp for Max. On a training day today, so we're going to see how he goes. So well, you can drop the long line. So we're going to work on the long line. Let go of it completely. And all you're going to do, completely, as, completely. yeah, completely. As you set off, you're going to show him your treat. Give him a treat, so he knows you've got the treats because he's got to have something to work for. And then give him the treat and then you're just going to set off walking and what I'm watching for is that he's going to start following you and paying attention so every time he gets in front of you you're going to turn away from him and change direction Okey doke Give him a treat to let him know first Good boy And then just walk on oh Any way you want, it doesn't matter oh Look, this is how he was with me Change direction anyway just so he it, You can do like some weaving and that or just different turns, just because I want to see how well he follows you. Nice. <laughs> now try it without giving him treats. The treats are just to encourage him. But we're not going to walk a dog constantly feeding it treats on a walk. That's just not realistic. So he can kind of do what he wants within reason, but he does have to keep his eye on you at all times. So it doesn't matter if he drifts five foot, ten foot behind you, as long as when you call him, he comes. He's more attentive than Mia is. Do the same with Mia then. Yeah. But then he also follows Mia's direction, if you like. Yeah. Whatever she is doing. Yeah. So in those instances, when he starts following oh. Mia, that's when you call him to you. Oh. And, and use your rewards. So he's doing really well here. Now's a good time, call him. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. And then I want you to do a, uh, just a stop. And I want him to stop with your beautiful reward oh that. Well done. And this is exactly what I've been doing with him. So would he generally have done this beforehand? Before? No, absolutely not. Right. No. He's always kept his eye on me, but at a distance. Yeah. Not, um... Oh, I'm being attacked by a wasp. Max, come. Max, come. Good boy. Come. So if you have to tell him twice, we don't treat. Oh. Because otherwise, you'll be start telling him ten times yeah. and still treating. Yeah. So we only treat first time, he knows that, he's had four or five days of that. So what she's going to do now, keep going, just keep going. Call him. Max, come. Good boy. There's no urgency in him, has he? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> So that was, a, that was a good example of a recall. All of this is without use of the e-collar at the moment. We're going to bring that in in a minute. And then the next thing she's going to do is, as we walk, I'm going to keep on moving so that um, I kind of put Max off. But once he relaxes again a bit more, we're going to walk and she's just going to change pace and start walking backwards. And Max has to stay with her, not me. <laughs> slowing down, he's slowing down. Yeah, he's keeping, <laughs> keeping a close eye on you. Yeah, he is. This is what he did with me, and I thought, well, that, I mean, that's the end result. Absolutely. So when he catches up with you, do some backward steps. <laughs> nice reward. Who's boy? Tell him to come. Costa makes a mistake. Good boy. Did you prompt on the okay. e collar too? Good. Good boy. Did you tap him or he's no, just catching he's up? Come on, he's on. Good. So call him and tap at the same time. Oh, that's because there's a dog coming. Call Max, him. Come. Are you tapping? Yeah. Max, come. Good, good, good. Good boy. Good, good, come. good. Good. Good boy. I've done it again. 